What's up, guys? This is Gunzilla here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of SND Spots. And today's map that we're looking at is Prison Break. So, since we're on the planning side of things, we're going to go ahead and pick up this bomb. And I'm going to show you the best place and the best way to run to B bomb. Then we'll go to A bomb. And then show you the defending side, um, like always. Okay, so the very a lot of people when they spawn here, they run up to this mountain right here. And this hill, I should say. I keep calling it a mountain. Um, so yeah, run up this hill and they kind of use this little log or tree stump right here to get a few kills right there on the, the tower up there and then kind of, you know, shoot, get a couple kills here and maybe a couple kills here. I mean, I'm not all at once, but, you know, people run from there and there and, and towards over there. So they kind of use this log as a uh, head glitch, which is fine and good, but it's deadly to use, okay? You're going to probably die, but you might get a one, two kills here. And that's if that's what you're going for, that's great, right? I mean, that's it depends on what you're trying to do here in Search and Destroy. If you're trying to survive, which is that's what most of us or most people want to do in Search and Destroy, survive. You know, yeah, you're trying. You want to get a one-two kills, but you want to make sure you have the advantage, and they don't know that you're coming. Or if you do, you have the upper hand. So a lot of people they're going to know and waiting. You know, the, from the defending side, so they're going to be right here waiting and for me, you know, for you to come up this hill and shoot you when you come up. So, yeah, the hill's good, but there's better places and to run. So. Um, let's keep going to the B-bomb, and what what I normally do is run back here instead of running up front, because, you know, people from the defending side can really, they're probably going to be rushing up there, looking, waiting for you, so if you rush kind of out in the front right here, they might can see you, so, you know, for, you, for the best, you know, uh, you want to be make sure you're covered, you know what I mean, so you don't want to, to run out in the open, and you never want to run in the middle of the map, that's, you know, reason why it's, you get probably get one or two kills up there is because it's, like, out in the open, so with any search and destroy map, never run out in the open, just try to keep, you know, go cover to cover and search and destroy, so when I normally get up to these logs right here, I get on them, and I kind of use this head glitch right here, and then uh, I can see what they're doing, like, I can get up here, or I can uh, get right here and just shoot as they're coming down, there or I can kind of use this head glitch right here it's not much of one but if I really wanted to get up there I'll just climb and then crouch right here and then kind of go right there and see the yep I can see it right there coming on the river and I can shoot them as right there as well so if you want to stay right here to make sure you know see where they're running at because a lot of people you know they don't really kind of stay put they kind of will either rush this side or rush towards um down there towards a site that stuff like that i'll show you guys but so yeah so yeah you stay right here get a couple kills if you want to or kill or two i keep saying a couple kills like it's a regular game um yeah but you can get your maybe pick one person off right here and then another person that's coming down here you know they won't be able to see you in time and they can't really got much but you know they can't shoot but anything but really but your head and that's really a hard target to hit especially when you're shooting them and they're flinching because most likely don't have a the perk that reduces their flinch i mean some people do but uh, most people run stealth stuff in Search and Destroy. So, instead of running and cutting across right here, yeah, you can do that. Um, most people, you have to watch out for people right there, for people from the side right here. Um, what I normally do is just kind of, um, let's go back from right here. So, right, when I'm running right here, what I normally do is check to make sure there's no one there, just in case, because there has been some people just been crouching right here waiting. So, just check right, you know, right through here. And then uh, make your way up. Look right there. You know, look the people normally right there crouching or whatever, waiting for you. So just check your corners as you go to the bomb, and um, you know, make sure that the ghost is clear. And then you start planting the bomb. And when you do plant the bomb, most people run over here. Like, you know, like I was pointing out, and to just waiting for the people, the defenders, to come and defuse the bomb. And which is the this is a good spot because they can't really see you coming. You know, coming from that way or coming from this way. But a lot of people do use this spot, so the defenders might know to look here as well. So the best place I will tell you to go is back in this brush right here. Get in this this brush right here and just kind of crouch. You know, they won't be able to you know see you as good. You know, they won't be looking. They'll be kind of just looking around the surrounding area of the bomb, not looking way back here, unless they're coming from this way. And you'd have to really be, check your back, kind of just so every now and then just kind of look, make sure you ain't running from you know flanking or you know, from this side. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, this is the B-bomb plant. So you never want to kind of run out in the middle right here um, to go to A, okay? Don't never do this. Don't cut across here to go to A. Just throwing that out there because people in the tower, people in these, and people in these little, I guess, cement tubes, I forget what you call them. Um, but yeah, don't, don't never go into these. Just kind of stay away from this map. There's a better way to plant at a bomb and it's actually a little bit more direct okay guys we are at back at our spawn and so now i'm going to show you how to get the best way to get to the a bomb from planning aside so a lot of people run up here up this hill 
and they kind of uh, go down aim sights and hoping to get a, a kill from up there. Which is, yeah, you can get a kill from up there, but watch out, there's snipers always up there, and people down here, you know, around down here. So, I wouldn't recommend going up this hill. I mean, yeah, and people, you also got people coming from, you know, down the hill right here, too. So, yeah, you like I said, you you might get a kill or two here, and a lot of people aren't up here. It depends on, uh, you know, yeah, it depends on how good of a team you're rolling with if uh your people can you know handle themselves that's great run up here and just keep rushing them but you know most times it's a um it's a even you know you got to even fight so you want to kind of make sure you have the upper hand don't put yourself vulnerable for people with thermal scopes too up there they can really see you easy so the best way to get to a bomb is not go up there it's obviously go down right through here now of course, you got to watch out because people are camping right there under that truck, the tire of that truck, so laying down ready and waiting for you. So what I normally do is I carry uh, something like that. I mean, of course, that was I need to be a little bit faster than that, uh, you know, but I hold up my thing right here and then right there and then see if I get a hit marker. If I get a hit marker, I know somebody's right there and I know the kinds of uh, jump out and kill them right there. Like, anyway. But if I don't get no hit markers, then just slowly crouch and just check your areas and always check right through here okay i don't think they're going to really be right here waiting at you most of the time they're just around this corner like right there right here so what you want to do is when you go around this corner just just check it like this crouch your aim down your sights be ready you know because they're going to be either right through here and then most I don't, not too many people camp back here which is a good thing i mean there probably is one or few you know two people who camp right here and wait for you to go by but uh you know, not too much. So you go back here and then don't run the cut through there again, of course. You want to go back here and you want to kind of go up in this tower right here and go through these, like, ladder part. Don't go through the stair part. Go through, you know, up there because people are going to be waiting for you. Kind of have a IED or whatever right there. So don't don't go up these stairs. I'd recommend not doing it. So when you get up here, of course, you know, check to see if there's anybody facing that way. Um, but you probably cleared them out if there was anybody right there. And what you want to do is you want to kind of uh, slowly, you know, inch forward, and make sure see where they're at. You know, look into them tubes, look on that side right there because they're probably in front of that truck a lot in that corner. Uh, they're probably all back, you know, right there near B bomb if you go in there. But if it looks clear, then you go downstairs, and then you know just kind of uh, check out, and make sure it's clean. And then when you do. Um, you just kind of either cut across here, but that's still getting kind of out in the open. What I like to do is I just like to go back out through here and then go through along this wall right here. And then, voila, you are at a bomb planting. And when you plant the bomb, the best place to do is either go right through here and you can kind of uh, crouch and see, you know, you got a little head glitch, you know, right here. But it's not the best one because you got your whole backside, you know. It's vulnerable, you know, people coming up here shooting you. So what I would normally and what I would recommend doing is, you know, cut across here and uh, get in this corner right here where you can see where they're going at. Or go back in this tower and just what I would do, no, this is a good spot right here too as well. You just get right here and, they, you know, as they walk by, you can see them you know and shoot them so right here is a good spot or you just get up in this tower and they're gonna be wait looking at this tower so be careful when you do this you just kind of uh, want to, what you want to do is you just want to kind of uh, get up here and slowly inch forward check it glance it out of, you know every now and then but this is a very dangerous spot so I you know it take it at your own risk I mean yeah you if you kind of get a good vantage point and check make sure you check up here because people are always at the top of this mountain you know who knows he could be coming from that side so check your mountain right there when you come up but uh i would stay kind of in this uh certain area or whatever stay in the, this this tower house right here because you're gonna be the safest place i wouldn't really recommend really going out there peeping out like i said because i mean you yeah you might get a kill or two fast kills but people are going to be waiting and looking for you to come up to this tower so stay in here like either this corner right here because you can see them because they have to go in there but be keep your eye out you know out because if they're crouching if they're crouching you won't be able to see them so you know you make sure you have uh, you can hear them or some sort of have your volume turned up or be right here as well that's the you know, best places to to really um camp while you're waiting for the bomb timer to go off so, you guys, that is planning side of Prison Break. So, now let's go to the defending side. Let's see, when you normally spawn right here, uh, like I said, you can camp uh, you know, in this corner right here. We're going we're gonna to talk about A-bomb first, and then we'll go to the, how to defend the B-bomb. What I normally do, a lot of people camp in this tower. Yeah, but they're going to know to clear out the tower first, first most likely. So, what you want to do is you want to kind of uh, just... 
rush right through the Outer Banks right here. I mean, what I would normally do is I'll rush right through here, and I normally get me a kill or two right up under this tire. Like I was talking about when you, you know, you got to make sure your flash is done. Yeah, well, I do the same thing right here, kind of uh, use this tire as some sort of protection right here. Covers most of your body, and then you, you know, as they're coming around a corner, you just shoot them. Now, you know, like I said, people do know to look right there, too. It's, it's, it's a good place, but a lot of people know about it, so be uh, weary when doing it. So as you uh, wait, wait a few seconds, make sure it's clear, then start easing up, and just keep pushing if you want to. But, you know, really defending is not planning, so you don't really need to, def to keep pushing as much. So you can either stay here or you could get it down in the brush right here. Or you just use a lot of this brush to your advantage, you know. Just what I would do is um, just kind of stay near the tower but don't ever go in the tower. So you, that's kind of, you know, or you can get up here as well. And see, you can see how this little head glitch right here. And you can see him going in there. And so forth. And So this is a really good one. I use this one a lot as well. You can get from this side as well. But, you know, your back's, your whole back's kind of uh, vulnerable. So make sure you check your back when using this spot. So this is one of the best places to defend right here. That's the best spot for um, looking out at A. So now let's go to defending the B bomb. A lot of people run across here, which is, yeah, it's good, it's fine, because uh, they don't have enough time to, to really uh, shoot you right through here at the beginning of the round. Of course, if it's middle round, yeah, mm, I don't know if you would run and run it through here, but yes, most direct way. So um, what I would, a lot of people camp here, like I said, waiting for you. That's that's good, that's fine, but uh, really you just want to kind of uh, get in the corner right here. What I normally do is get in this corner right here, and you can see you know, go into plant and shoot them. And they can't really see you coming from, you know, over there or over there. So yeah, guys, this is um, really just defending B-bomb. Defending, like I said, it's not, it's not as hard as defending uh, or planning. It's not as hard, but uh, you know, it's, it's really it's nice to know how to both to plant and defuse on maps. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this episode. If you did, drop a like helps me out a lot, and I will have more S and D spots coming out soon, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Peace out.